Here myself. All right, guys, massive deal. 6,500 basically is what I'm asking. Selling it for six grand. Poncho Pikachu, uh, BGS 10, the black Megazard. Well, thank you very much again. Thank you, All right, Have a good one. so if you guys are like me, um, you've probably seen um, some of these vendor POV videos. They're really great. Um, this guy right here, I believe his name is Dylan, and he does uh, the Bulba store. Um, I saw him at the, uh, one, the LA Collecticon that I was at, um, and he was just like, man, his booth was absolutely popping. Um, this video, I kind of wanted just to do like a little, like I wanted to see how much like product he was moving. Um, so we're going to dive into it. I'm going to like crunch the numbers on his last two videos, and I'm going to give you guys like, we're going to estimate some of the like profits that are, is going on here. Um, something we can only speculate on. Um, but I'm just curious. I just thought it was kind of fun and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I got all this information and we're just going to jump into it. Um, so first up, um, as you guys can see here, this is Social Blade. Um, this kind of measures just like uh, YouTube views and estimated um, earnings and stuff. Um, so as you guys can see, he really is killing it. 44,000 subs, 1.5 million views, last 30 days, um, 6.2 thousand dollars per month estimated ad revenue that is just ad revenue alone um so he's looking at 75k almost a year um and this is kind of his views are growing because he's up 40 percent in the last 30 days and his subs are up 21 percent in the last 30 days so um he's seeing some growth so um i have seen in the past that this um this isn't always accurate it can be can be lower can be higher even so um we estimated just a little bit lower on that but you'll see that coming up um soon then um he has another source of income you'll probably notice at the end of his videos um there's names displayed and you can pay uh, channel memberships three bucks you know up to 25 for the solar beam um so uh, we calculated it out he doesn't get that full percentage um, i did break that down as well um then he does have a website i know he sells a lot of these shirts right um these shirts get sold at events um i don't know i think some of his older videos he was out of shirts um i think also, some of the deals that he shows, um, that not like if it's a shirt only deal, I don't think he's really shown that. It's only if there's like a lot of people will trade for a shirt, um, which is interesting. Um, he's doing really well in those. People are going to trade because he's trading. Anyways, we'll get into the breakdown of the numbers, but and these keychains, I don't see any of those in the videos as well. So I might have some estimating to do there. Um, then he has this business. I think he doesn't always advertise it, um, but he sells these. Um, slab displays which are uh pretty cool actually um these wall mounted ones um you can see these foam ones they're sold out for 75 bucks he's out of stock and then you can like customize these um psa and cgc you can put custom text up here and they'll they're like slabs for your slabs so it's kind of cool um i think it's a great idea obviously he's really smart with what he's doing he's kind of like the number one vendor pov guy um there's a lot of other good ones um but I just kind of wanted to, I made a little spreadsheet here, or I got a generic spreadsheet, put some numbers in. Um, let's just jump into this real quick. Um, so this is what we have. Um, so this was the Houston Collecticon that just happened. I think it was 4748 four, or anyways, it doesn't matter the dates. But um, so I estimated a lot of stuff on here. Um, and some of it will, uh, I'll, I'll break down everything, kind of how I came to it. Um, I forget where he's located, but I estimated for flights for three, um, oopsie, I screwed up on this already. Let's change this. Sorry about that. That's going to change this number quite a bit. Okay. There we go. Um, so, um, for the flights, um, I, I think it was him and his partner. And then there's like another guy that's there sometimes. I don't know who he is, if he's like a friend or what, but I don't know if he's paying him, paying for his flight. I'm assuming so. So we're going to guess that he paid 1200 for his flight. 1200 for um two hotel rooms for the night for probably be like three nights um depending on when they're flying out and i estimated 15 dollars a meal for three people for the whole time so 540 um i don't i couldn't find the exact um cost for the tables for this event but for the next up and coming uh one it was like 750 um i think that gets you two tables anyways um so this is already where he's and he did I think his schedule is kind of like one big event a month. It's kind of like what he's been doing. Um, so, yeah, so he's spending quite a bit just to get there and do everything. Um, 
So I started with the day two video because that was the latest one I saw, and then I went worked back. So I added up. Um, so just for outright buys, not for for trades and sell, uh, sells. Um, Seventeen oh five, he bought on day two. Um, so then on his for sell sell uh, excuse me sales and trades for day two, I calculated it out, and some of it the way if you watch some of his videos. It's hard. It's not always in like an exact number. So it was like, and the way he, so he buys at like 70% market value and he trades at like 80, but it depends. Sometimes he'll trade for more, sometimes he'll, and it's, it's, so this is a little bit of an estimation, but I, you know, I just was writing down each, each one as it went. And so I'm going to estimate that between the, between the 70% and the 80% that he's going to be averaging 25% profit. Um, I feel that's fairly accurate for a few reasons, um, and I could totally be wrong, but and it could be higher, honestly, because a lot of the cards that he gets in, okay, so we know that he grades cards, right? So a lot of the cards that he gets in, he's getting them for 70% or 80%, and then I'm, I would assume, because of how smart he is with everything else he has going on, that he's grading these copies. So then he's grading a raw card, and sometimes that markup can be huge going from raw to a PSA 10. Um, so he's able to make a lot more than 25% profit on these, right? Um, so $6,888 is what I calculated his profit to be here. Um, and I, I do think that there is room for that to be higher. Um, so just keep that in mind. We'll, like, we'll play with the numbers a little bit more. Then um, you have buying... For day one or no yes yeah so now we're on day one um wrong graded outright buys he bought a lot he bought heavy twelve thousand twelve thousand dollars um so yeah this kind of sets him back but it kind of sets him up for the next event so you got to kind of keep that in mind as well um day one the sales were higher so, uh, and also i'm including trades because some, there are a lot of times there are partial trades so some of this will be eventualized profit um so that's where it, it gets a little tricky but it was like about Thirty-one thousand forty-five dollars. Calculate out twenty-five percent. Seven thousand seven hundred sixty-one dollars. Um, then you got your uh, his YouTube memberships. This is what I told you guys earlier about. Um, currently, he's getting, um, and I don't think it was showing like all of the lower tiers. Actually, I don't think there might be more of that lowest tier that don't get shown. But what we do know is uh, there's a percentage. I think it's like whatever this percentage, I can't remember off the top of my head, but this is the percentage, this is what he takes home and YouTube takes the rest. Um, then he has his YouTube uh, revenue, 5,500 a month. He also has sponsors um, for his videos. Um, for these last two, I think they were both of Veriswap. And I think that this number is probably low. I'm just guessing based off of the views. If they're paying 500 bucks, um, plus they're getting interaction with how the thing is. Anyways, you have to sign up. He's doing a giveaway. So it's like, it's not just an ad he's they're getting interactions there so i'm gonna guess that this is actually more we'll we'll play with these numbers just a little bit in a second and then i'm gonna guess that his his slab lab business is making at least 500 a month um profit i could be wrong um then once again the shirts so the shirts are really popular they're cool shirts right and that's like one of his things you can see them from a mile away very distinguishable everyone wants a bubble source shirt so um 500 bucks a month i think is low still because once again that's not counting online stuff um and so there's a lot of interesting things that go on um, a lot of people will trade for shirts and they're trading like sometimes 35 dollars because i think the shirts are 35 so they're trading you know for a 35 dollar shirt with like a 35 or 40 dollar card but the card's actually worth more than that because he trades at 80 percent so he's getting like you know, in the a forty something dollar card, and the shirts, he's not. They don't cost him thirty five, right? This is where like some of the brilliant, the brilliance is. They don't cost him thirty five. Let's say they cost him twenty. So you guys see what's happening there. So that's why I think there's uh there is more money that's being taken in here, um because he wouldn't be just keep doing these, um if he wasn't making money, right? So if you look at this and you go, ooh, four thousand dollars, that's not a lot, um, for for a month. Um, depending, depending on where you live, um, this could be this could be enough. This could be not enough. It depends what you have going on. But got to keep in mind also that he loaded up on this day one with his twelve thousand um, dollars. So that was a lot of money that he had spent 
and that's going to go towards it went it went some of it sold at day two and some of it's going to go to future shows so some of that he's going to bring he's going to grade i don't know if he sells on ebay as well or anything um he might i would i would guess he wouldn't really need to with how much how with these sales at he can just go to shows and he uh you know if i don't know i'm not assuming anything but if he's if that's not getting reported then he's not paying taxes or some of it's getting reported you know i don't know i'm not saying anything i just mean cash is cash you know so um i've always wondered that about all these card shows like how much of this is getting reported um anyways doesn't matter but let's fudge around with the numbers just a little bit and so this is like i think this is like low end right we're just over four thousand i'm gonna i'm gonna we're gonna estimate um, we're going to go maybe more on the high end and see like what he could be taking, um, just for fun here. So, um, and if you like this video, if you guys want me to like break down any other vendor, um, videos, I'd be happy to do so. I, I, I watch them anyways. I think they're fun to watch. It's great content. Um, so let me know, but let's just assume here that I'm going to assume right off the bat, we're going to double the shirts. We're going to double the, the ad revenue, um, from this or uh, sorry, from the Slab Lab, and we're gonna double the Vera swap. okay? And then the YouTube revenue, we're gonna bump it up to the full 6,200 that it had said on there. Um, so already we're looking a lot better, um, 6,200. Um, I don't, we're gonna, let's say for the memberships that we're missing some, um, I don't know how many of those lower ones if they're not popping up, we'll just say that we bump that up to 120. Um, we're going to bump this up a little bit. Let's say his profit was more. Let's let's give him another. Let's go up to like 8,500 here. Um, and then this one, let's do like 7,500. Because once again, this depends on your profit range. And then let's also um, assume that he was able to save some money on food. Um, and it wasn't quite that much. So he spent, oops, negative 400 is important. And then let's say he saved a little bit on his hotel. And let's say he saved a little bit on his flight. All right, so that's a big difference. Now we're looking at eighty-one hundred dollars um, per month, which is he's doing pretty well off of Pokemon cards. Um, plus, we don't know we don't know. There's a lot we don't know. So, um, but I just wanted to make this video because I thought it would be fun. Um, it's not meant to uh, it's not meant to like hate on any of the vendors, especially not Bulbasaur. I like all the vendors. I think the content's great. Good for you guys. Like you guys are killing it. It's not like you know I can't really do that right now. Um, and I don't know if I would want to, but they're putting in the work. They're setting up the camera. They're filming all these transactions. Oh, also, um, you know, not every, uh, card transaction is showed. Like sometimes they have camera problems. Like, you know, there's a lot that's not shown. So, so we kind of estimated low and high a little bit. Um, I still, and once again, I still think there's still more room with that raw to grade aspect. I think there's some big profit margin going on there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I, uh, I just kind of wanted to dive into that. Um, thought it was fun. Let me know if you guys liked this video. Um, I had a fun time making it. And, um, if you haven't seen the bubble stores videos or the other vendor POV videos, they're actually really great. They're fun to watch. They're like, sometimes they're really long and I can sit there and just watch the whole thing. I enjoy like the negotiation. Um, and if you haven't been to a card like show and you want to go um and maybe you're intimidated watch um watch some of these um because it can kind of help you like learn how they negotiate what they buy at um they're all similar enough but different um oh also something else that is that he gets that like people just give him cards like he gets a lot of Bulbasaur cards just given to him um so i think he keeps a lot of those i don't know how many he's selling I know a lot of, probably, he probably, he has a big Bulbasaur collection, so a lot of them are probably duplicates and whatnot, but anyways, um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, that's just diving into some vendor POV. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.